Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is an absolutely gorgeous fall day here in Ohio. There's just a little crisp this morning. Nothing crazy. I could probably sit out here all day. I just have a flannel and a vest on. Perfect weather. Anyways, today I thought I'd do a video review of a product I just received. A little bit of a backstory. Lately, I've gotten into GMRS radio. I believe GMRS stands for... General Mobile Radio Services. If you're not familiar with GMRS radio, I'm not gonna try and explain it in this video. I encourage you to do some research on your own. Basically, if you go to Walmart and buy a two-way radio walkie-talkie for your outdoor adventures, chances are it's FRS and GMRS radio combined. GMRS radio is a licensed radio, meaning you have to purchase a license to use it. It's really easy. You just go on the FCC website and apply for the license, kind of like a fishing license. It's not a big deal. Anyways, enough about that. Let's talk about the product that I have. All right, folks, so what we have here is the Redivis RB19P two-way GMRS radio. This isn't really an unboxing, but I'll show you what's in the box. You're gonna get a radio. You're gonna get a wall wart. You're going to get a program cable, charging cable, and a user's manual. One of the nice things about this radio, this is uh, chargeable via USB cable. You will need the program cable if you decide to use these radios to talk to anyone else. So um, we'll get to that later. As you can see, this is a very compact, very simple, slim radio. It does have a nice pocket clip on the back, built-in antenna, and very few buttons. What's nice about this is you could hand this radio to anyone and quickly show them how to operate it. Basically, they're just going to have to push a button once you put it on the channel you want to talk on and they can talk. This is nice for kids, wives that don't really want to take the time to understand more complicated GMRS radios or friends that might be over. You just need a quick radio to, to communicate on your property. The way I use GMRS radio on my property, we have about 10 and a half acres. Right now I'm in a location farthest away from my house. It's nice to be able to communicate with either my daughter or wife via the radios versus a text. The text takes a little bit more effort to type in and my daughter does not have a cell phone because she's eight. To turn it on, there's a power button on top. We'll long press it. Power on, 16. So as you can see, it tells you the power is on and it's on channel 16. It is very loud. This, you can see it has a nice large display. It displays the channel. This is a 30 channel radio. I believe it's 22 GMRS channels and then eight repeater channels. For the purpose of this video, we're not gonna get into what a repeater channel is. Again, if you're not familiar with GMRS radio, it is something that you probably should make yourself familiar with. It's very handy for property owners or outdoorsmen, stuff like that. So to adjust the volume, you just short press your left or right volume buttons, conveniently right on the front of the unit. Change the channels, you'll short press the box button. The channel starts flashing and then you can scroll through the channels and program it to the channel you want to. Push to talk button is right here on the side. Obviously you just press and hold it, say what you gotta say and release. And then the person on the other end will do the same. The unit can scan channels if you program it in the software. Long press this button and it will scan the channels available and listen for any activity on those channels. As it's set up now, if you long press this, it sends an alarm. It does feature a keyboard lockout. If you long press this button here, it will lock out the keyboard. So now the radio is locked. And the only thing you can do is change the volume and push to talk. It's nice for if you want to give it to kids so they don't accidentally bump the channel. To see what your current battery level is, you would short press the box button, 16. then short press the power button, and it will display the battery indicator on the display. I don't know, you probably can't see that. It, it doesn't like the camera. Now all radios, or most radios, have a squelch level. And basically what squelch is, is it blocks out unwanted noise. But if you thought there was somebody talking on the channel, but their signal was weak, you could do what they call monitor the channel. So in order to monitor the current channel we're on, we long press this right button and you hear the static. Now, if there was somebody with talking and they just had a weak signal, you would actually hear them talk. And then it also features NOAA weather channels. So in order to access the NOAA weather channels, short press your power button. 
So it doesn't pick it up very well out here. This unit can also be operated via voice with a system called Vox. So we just turn the Vox setting on and then you wouldn't have to push the push the talk button to talk. You just start talking and it automatically picks up your talking and transmits your signal. There's also a timeout timer. That just means if somebody's talking and they spend too much time talking, the radio would automatically stop transmitting their signal to give other people an opportunity to talk on that channel. So there, nobody could sit there and just key up the push to talk button and then stop everyone else listening from talking. Also features a busy channel lockout, meaning if somebody's already talking and then another person wants to key up, if they're not finished talking, it won't allow them to transmit. There are high and low settings for the channels on the radio. I believe you have to do all that through the software. I basically, it comes from the factory setup on high on the channels you are allowed to transmit high on and low on the channels that you aren't permitted to transmit high power on. Again, that has to do with understanding GMRS and FRS radios. So you'll have to read the manual to fully understand what channels you can talk high and low on. High power would would be necessary to reach farther distances. Also, it features an automatic battery power saving mode, meaning if it's just sitting here standby, it, consu it conserves its battery best as possible. And then it also will have a low battery warning. So when you know when the battery is low, you can charge it. Now, one of the things that this thing does come pre-programmed from the factory that I don't like is it does have CTSS and DCS codes already programmed into the radio. And the only way to change that is to go into the programming via the program cable and turn all of those settings off. And basically what those mean is if this radio and another radio were talking to each other and they had CTSS or DCS codes programmed into them, those two radios can only talk to each other. And no one else outside of those two radios can talk to these radios. Now they can hear what you're saying, but they cannot transmit to you. Your radio will not hear it. I just shut those off so that these radios will talk to any of my GMRS radios. All right, folks, so overall, I think this is a really decent little radio. It's nice and slim, compact, and it's simple to use. Great for a wife or a child or friends that don't understand other complicated GMRS radios, like I said earlier in the video. So the big question is, is can it communicate from the backside of my property? The range on this radio is gonna be roughly one or two miles. I'm not quite a mile away from my house, but there are a lot of trees interfering with the signal. So we'll go ahead and key this up and see if we can communicate with the house all the way back here in the backside of my property. Mobile to base, do you read me? Read you loud and clear. Thank you very much, mobile out. So there you have it folks, it works perfectly. I'd like to thank Redivis for sending me this radio to review. I'll put a link in the description down below if you're interested in one of these radios for yourself. And I thank you for watching my video. It's so nice out here this morning. I think I'm just gonna sit right here and enjoy my coffee and mother nature because I am surrounded by <laughs> a lot of wildlife right now. I heard a squirrel here a minute ago. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video. So I forgot to hit the record button. So I will be doing that again here in a moment. Okay, hurry up, because I want to take a shower.